Hello and welcome back to Morbid Curiosity. We are just going through the keeper's place. Oh, that's, that's the uh, guy I knocked out. Where there appears to be more zombies. But, um, see what's in the master's library. Oh, the master keeper's library maze. Hmm. Hmm. Feast your eyes on a large collection of rare and valuable books. Please keep your loved ones close and most of all, have fun. Before I go into what is literally a maze. Ah, this is the way to continue the tour, is it? Thank you for visiting and remember to ask our attendants if you need assistance. What are the questions with the library? Minerva is the goddess of wisdom, beauty, or balance. Which two qualities are keepers said to possess? Who has the finest stakes in town? <laughs> Maybe I can guess this one. So Minerva is the goddess of wisdom. Keepers are said to possess visibility and immortality, as a guess. And of course the Keeper's Library and Grill, yeah. All right. And they're not immortal, but they may possess the powers of invisibility. But, um, rare and valuable books, you say? Rare and valuable books. I don't see many rare valuable books just now, although, now that you mention it, whoa, traps, all right, be wary, Garrett, hello, that book wasn't there before. Hang on. Did you teleport me? Little is known about the so-called keepers of the prophecies. They are a very secretive organization who have a firm belief in maintaining the world balance. They are rumored to wield powers of invisibility and are even thought by some to be immortal. So I guessed right. Ah, uh, is that what the trap was? This painting, nicknamed The Librarian, is another brilliant work by an unknown artist. Although some claim it is haunted, we have found nothing conclusive other than the odd bump in the night. Either way, it is indeed a masterpiece and seems most at home hanging in the master's library. Oh. Annalise, Annalise. Uh... Painting. Oh, hello. I have been this madman's prisoner for years now, creating works of art which he claims as his own. Yet this is not thoughts of vengeance, but the memory of love that tortures me. If only I could find a way to reach beyond this prison, to tell her that my heart is and will always be hers. Tonight I shall take leave of this world by my own hand. I pray that Providence may forgive me and let us be reunited. Wait, is that the haunted painting in the gallery? We have a rose for her. Well, okay. Is there a way out of here? This brings us back to the keeper's library somewhere. Although... Hmm. The whole follow the left wall strategy works less well. Hello. We're back at the start. Uh, follow the left wall strategy doesn't work quite so well when uh, you when you get teleported around. So this is the lost city. Uh, if we go back through here. Back to... I mean, I guess we could get out of this place.
this is the undead. Yeah, sorry I can't let you out, guys. Uh. Zombie pit. Maybe I should wait until I finish the tour before uh, doing this. Oh yeah, because it's the lift. Well, there's a button to go back up, right? Although, can I... Will I be able to make it back? I don't know. to see. If I can't make it back, then I will have to... Where's the rose? <laughs> Good thief, we wish to thank you for your kindness. Find us where the time meets the sky. Okay. Where the time meets the sky. Which would be at the clock above the gallery, I guess. Well, oh, I got these. All right, let us run through. So I'm glad I disposed of like um, a little of the skulls on this lift. Glad I disposed of the various wandering undead. Certainly makes it easier to retrace my steps like that. Although, as mentioned, probably not necessary given um, uh, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Not necessarily given I could have just finished the tour, we're kind of halfway through already. You know, there's this death, there's the lost city, then there's the keepers, that's the first three areas. Although I'm gonna to have to wander that maze more carefully, I think. That's the grill. This is the master's library maze. All right. So I went there, and then I followed the left wall. Oh, the book is there. Maybe I just didn't see it. I thought I heard a teleport trap, but maybe I didn't. Maybe I just. Yeah, okay. I guess I didn't. Not sure what that kind of trap it was, but... So it won't teleport me again. Hello? Ah, oh, right, this is behind the scenes. Right, so you kept someone prisoner for a long time then. Alright, so I guess I've pretty much gone through the entire maze up to this point. That's the exit. Let's just follow this left wall back in case there's a place I missed. Such as that. Not sure what this trap is that I'm triggering, but okay. Whatever it is, it doesn't seem to have hurt me, so... Yeah, alright, then we're back again. Wait, 
us. Let's just start the maze again. So, anyway, so we've been through the maze. And I got the Minerva statue already, didn't I? It's Hades. For some reason, not in order. Minerva and Maya. Alright, let us leave Minerva's den. And uh, carry on. Hammerite, huh? Oh, that's. That must be the guy I was hearing. Whoa! Okay, that was a surprise, but uh, not unwelcome. I guess he's not going to be recovering from that. Welcome to the Old Quarter Cathedral. I am the Smith in Exile, and I will be your guide. Oh, hammer shaped doors. Fancy. Oh. We have an apparition. I hear a hammer haunt. I have lots of these, I can afford to waste them. Although, God, he's, he's just taking a lot. I afford to waste them, but not all of them. Come on. Alright. That's not going to work. For whatever reason. Or it's going to take 50 of them. Uh, where am I now? Oh, I was just about to leave. Okay. Oh, that's right. I hadn't exploded you yet. Let's explode you. It's gonna be bad. It's gonna be bad. Very bad. But not entirely deadly. So I guess let's use my healing potion. Oh, I've got an invisibility potion. You're easier to stun lock, of course. So you're spell casting. Oh, not when you back away from me like that. Used rather more of my health than I would have liked, but uh, I got the healing fruit as well. Should be fine. I think I picked up some bread somewhere too, right? No, no. Ah, oh, it's breath potion. Reputed to have begun in the cathedral, the entire old quarter became overrun with undead. Although the area was quarantined, many valiant hamrites stayed behind to defend the cathedral. So you know about the cathedral somehow. The old quarter was eventually lost, and both living and dead were walled inside. Today the fallen hammerites roam the very streets they fought to defend, as undead themselves. I guess this is where the haunt was. So you knew about the cathedral, but you, uh... Great, so another haunt. This could end very badly for me. That's the scriptures then. Oh, there is indeed another one. This one with a bow. Mm. 
You got an arrow on you. Can I can I pick it? Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Okay, how do I open this? Because that was valuable. You were gonna do it, offer it in trade. Ah, uh, gosh, it's all night. Doors are noisy. Please step to your left to see some real hammerite treasure. On display are the four golden hammers of Saint Yora, and new to this exhibit, behold the stunning builder's rattle. Reputed to be cursed, this piece is encrusted with giant rubies and precious metals. Four golden hammers, huh? Of oh, Saint Yora. Well, I can pick this lock. Maybe there was a lock guarding the scriptures as well. Let's go go back and check. Oh dear, come on. Come on. Well. Hmm. Refuse to be cursed, huh? Maybe I should wait till I'm ready for it. Is this the learning center? Thank you for visiting the old quarter. We welcome feedback from our guests. So to be sure to speak with our expert tour guides if you have questions. Ah, it's just our knowledge. Well, who is the author of the scriptures of the master builder? Hmm, I don't know. What two priceless gems adorn the builder's rattle? Uh, rubies and something. Where is the old quarter disaster said to have started in the cathedral? All right, let's go back and see what he said about the the builders' rubies and precious metals. Yes. And was there a lock a key? I was missing here. We need a lock. Come on. Complicated lock. Oh, it's nice and dark here, so. I guess this would be more tense if I had not killed those uh, haunts wandering back and forth. But, you know, I did. Scriptures of the Master Builder. I can't read it. I could use it with something, that's interesting. Uh, I guess the Smith in Exile was the author of them. Maybe. I mean, the scriptures of the Master Builder, but they weren't written by the Builder, right? Let's just say the Smith in Exile. Probably wrong. Uh, rubies. And the Cathedral. Well, that was correct. We've got the Smith statue. Uh... Is that, is that Randy Smith? Perhaps. Well, you know, the Smith may have been a Randy Smith. Maybe that's why he was exiled. Uh, welcome to the Pagan Forest. I am Crispin, God of the Four Winds, and I will be your guide. Oh, we have. Right, these guys should fall to fall to my blackjack. Good, 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 good. Below is an exact replica of a pagan blessing pool. It is said that bathing in this water will remove bad luck and helps to keep those earthy pagans clean. Oh, speaking of bad luck. I uh, completely forgot the builder's rattle. Um, you know, kind of the thing I came here for. New objectives. Uh, optional, find a way to remove the curse on the builder's rattle. Well, the pagan blessing pool, right? Just what made me, what reminded me of it. Oh, he's... he's... Shifty shadows indeed. Shifty shadows indeed. Alright. I mean, I could jump in the Pagan Blessing pool. What does it say? It says, we'll remove bad luck. Um... Well, I need to go skinny dipping in it as well. I don't know if I have a remove my um, clothes button. What am I getting stuck in there? Oh, nice arrow. Nice. 
Humans are only one kind of pagan worshipper. Most are creatures of the forest, such as these eight beasts. Although clumsy and smelly, they are ferocious and will not hesitate to dispatch foes. Right, what's this way? Tree beasts are the most deadly forest dwellers of all. What they lack in intelligence, they make up for in sheer size, speed and strength. Please use extreme caution near the viewing area. Oh. Oh dear. These people did not use extreme caution. I think that means the tree beast is on the loose. Well, that looks like it continues the, uh, the tour. Let's go this other direction. Nope. More eight beasts, all right. Now let's go this way. Oh no, this is the end of the tour. So it'll be the learning center. So then this will take me down to the pagan blessing pool, I suppose. Where tree beasts lurk, okay. Hmm, not that I have much health left. Summer's wind, I heaves with fruits and honeys, my supple greens withers in them as burning suns. <laughs> Autumn's wind, dances the dying suns, who pluxes my greens in them blowing winds. Winter's wind, my limsies, curls and crisps, I knows only the homesy of my roots, my earths. Strings winds, I thaws to life and greensy, my hardened root strings deeps them softening rains. So what was that about bathing in the pool would remove bad luck? Because uh, nothing seems to be happening here. And I've forgotten the way out. Pagans live mainly in the forest, in hollowed out trees such as these. But many pagans live among us in the towns and cities. You can usually spot one by their dirty clothes and unusually bad grammar. It's perfectly good grammar, it's just a different language. Um, that's the tree beast one. Bathing in this water will remove bad luck. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I drop the uh, thing in it. Rather than need to bathe in it myself. I can't drop it. I mean, I can use it with something, but I guess maybe it's not as simple as this pool it's said to remove bad luck, but it's just a pool in a gallery that's, you know, serves no actual purpose. I don't know. Find a way to remove the curse. I don't know what that would be. Uh, there was a holy water fountain, of course, back in the Hammerite place. Maybe that would work. Is there anything under here? I mean, there's water. I can swim in. All right, I haven't seen the tree beast, and that makes me nervous. Who is the god of the four winds? Crispin. Which ferocious forest dwellers are also pagan? Uh, eight beasts. The blessing pool might be useful for laundry day or ridding oneself of the evil eye curse. The evil eye didn't curse me, it just tried to kill me. Not quite the same. Ah, oh, there's our tree beast friend. Welcome to the Moor of Chaos. I am Mordecai, servant of the Woodsy Lord. Please continue over the bridge for a sneak preview of our newest exhibit coming next spring. Alright, um. I'm nervous about that tree beast. I have four fire arrows left. It moves very fast. Wait, is it? 
sure there's more than one. the invisibility potion. That killed it, and wasted one, but it also nearly killed me. Well, let's hope that's good enough. Oh, we actually have a few onto the stars below. Coming soon, next spring. Coming soon, a swashbuckling adventure through the heart of the fabled Moor of Chaos. Oh, that's just the lights. Coming soon, Mysterious Creatures of the Moor, plus an all-new Riverside Club for our exclusive members. This concludes the gallery tour. Before you leave, be sure to visit the Learning Centre and stop by the gift shop for a chance at your big prize. Wait, you're gonna ask me trivia of things I don't know? In which order are the gallery exhibits? Death, Lost City Keepers, Old Quarter Pagan? Death, Keepers, Lost City, Old Quarter Pagan? Or Death, Lost City... Old Quarter Keepers Pagans. Death, Lost City Keepers, number one. What two treasures are found in the main gallery hall? Um, Pygmalion and the Golden Fleece. Yes, I took both of those. The restrooms. What is the name of the haunted painting in the main gallery? The Unrequited Hand. Objective complete. We've got all six statuettes. Alright, so we're going to have a gift. A special gift in the gift shop, aren't we? Coming soon, next spring. <laughs> Anything down here? Nope, just more water. Okay, get out of the water, don't go, don't go underneath the thing. Ah. Carrot, you're useless. Carrot. I have to tell you again, Garrett. All right, thank you. Well, that concludes our tour. There's our six statues again. And we exit to the gift shop. Mordecai was pagan one. Uh, where's the others? Crispin was... Oh, Mordecai was the Moor one. Crispin was the Pagans. And uh, Minerva was the Keepers. Maya was... the... Lost City? Smith was the Old Quarter. And finally, Hades. Creatures in the world. Okay, it has given us a special gift. Coffee, uh, let's zoom in and read it. It's not bang, bang my mouse. Collectible trading card. I survived the tour at the gallery. You've got to be kidding me. Uh, well, you know. You wouldn't want me to keep the statues. So they're worth more than that card, surely. All right, uh, what are we doing now? Find a way to remove the curse, but we can try going back to that holy water font. Um, otherwise, go back to the room at the inn. Are we done here? Finished that gallery tour and all. Oh, that would be nice. I didn't even come in here before, why not? I don't know. But uh, that seems the only item of value here. Where is the way out? All right, we're back here. Downstairs, I believe. Yeah, here we are. 
All right, so much for the mysteries of the gallery. Now, I still feel there's a couple of shops I wasn't able to get into. Um, one of which was the fishmongers, right? I did deliver all the stuff for for the pawn shop, so that's not a problem. Oh, careful now. Wait, the holy world wasn't wasn't was upstairs, not down in here, because it opened the way in here. Builders rattle, builders rattle. No, that does not remove the curse. Hmm. How would one remove the curse of the builders rattle? I have not the foggiest idea. I don't think I've read a single thing that would pertain to answering that question. So I guess I will just take the curse and go back to the inn. You know? I don't believe in curses anyway, you know? They're... Who would? Which, what, what is the way back? Comes south, comes up south mostly. Um, that's the pawn shop. Wait. Oh, this is the... I never found anything to put in his uh, cup there, so I guess... I guess we'll leave it. Uh, wait, where are we now? This is the Maiden of the East. Check the map. Oh, we've got to... I forgot about that. Go where time meets the sky. Um, the gallery has a clock. Let's go back to the gallery. We need to go to the clock. For our reward from the painting. As it were. Uh, this way. Almost forgot, you know? Almost forgot. Delivered a rose to a painting, so... Uh, Naturally, we deserve a good reward. And actually, we can possibly get through back to the inn faster by uh, heading south from here instead of back this way. Alright, uh, I mean, where time meets the sky, surely they mean the clock there, right? What else would they mean? Question is how to get there. I mean, I know, I know one way to get there. It doesn't feel like an intentional thing, but it is possible, so I might as well try it. And why else are these here? For me to nearly kill myself on is the answer. So I'm very lucky I didn't take full damage there, but uh, whether I can get down from here without full damage is another question. Right, let's go where time meets the sky. Doesn't feel like we should be here, but we can be here. Or perhaps, perhaps we have to go inside the clock tower. Perhaps there's a way from uh, within the gallery to get to the clock, up to the tower. Maybe that's what is meant. Maybe that's what I should investigate. Yeah, it turns out getting down without taking full damage was very easy. That's what the canal is useful for. All right. Go back in. So if there is a way to get to the clock tower, where would it be? I mean, the tower was right at the front of the place. <gasps> oh, Garrett. Thank you. It's the gift shop. I 
you know, where time meets the sky. I mean, there's the clock time, but uh, it's a gallery show. Oh, what was I was going to say, where's the way out again? Oh, yeah, it was downstairs. That's just the strange creatures. So we come back to the entrance. Go where time meets the sky. I mean, that, but there is no way inside there. There's no way out. Is there? Am I missing something dreadfully, dreadfully obvious? Maybe in the uh, employee only section? There's another clock. <laughs> so another note about time, but uh, no sky. And this just brings me back here. So the canal entrance. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna look this up. Okay, so there was a place in here called the Sky Pavilion, right? Those haunted objects, gallery tour, um, gift shop and Sky Pavilion, right? So Sky Pavilion members only, right? And this is where I got the wine, right? Aha! Uh Aha! -huh. Uh -huh. What is going on up there? How do I get up there? Do I see any wooden surfaces? Let's assume this is all wood around the edge. Because otherwise it seems impossible to get up. There's various floating <laughs> easels. You've given us a key with a heart shaped at the top. A red key. So you can't get into the clock tower, okay. What happens if I try to get further up? Hello? Is that something there? No, it's just the wood. Oh no, there is something there. On uh, the other half. Is that locked with... Is that what the red key is for? Surely not. This is probably just extra. But let's check. Where's the red key? Oh, we've got the whole key ring. Oh, hello. Maybe that was it. Can I get down without dying? I mean, if I leave my repair behind, then probably. Although maybe. I don't need to leave it behind. I'll just say. Uh, do not stand at my grave and weep. I am not there. I do not sleep. When you wake in the morning, hush. I am the swift uplifting rush of quiet birds in circling flight. I am the soft starling at night. Starlight at night. Do not stand at my grave and weep. I am not there. I do not sleep. Do not stand at my grave and cry. I am not there. I did not die. If you did not die, then why do you have a grave? Well, I'll, I'll take it. Clean up after myself. Uh, oh, right. That's the Sky Pavilion. And yeah, the clock tower is above it. Um, that's the gift shop. Uh, I guess we never solved the mystery of, of Dewdrop trying to haunt us there, but... Dewdrop will be Dewdrop. Time to leave the gallery. Any other notes? Well, I never found what to put in the cup, so never mind. I never found a way into that locked crate either, but I don't suppose that matters too much. Probably just some bonus loot. We do have plenty of loot. 4,000 and the goal was, was uh, 3,000 on this difficulty. Sure I missed a ton, but uh, I'm... Uh, Again, not out for exhaustiveness. Uh, yeah, this is where we just were. Made in the east. I went, definitely went the long way around. 
Um, I don't know which one's the east, but we should keep going this way, I think. That's the police station. Oh, hello, we can open the gate. I didn't notice that. This should take us through to the inn, I believe. So if we return to our room at the inn, we should be all done. You alright, mate? Swinging to our room. Now, I didn't manage to remove the curse. Hopefully it won't be too deadly on the other people in the inn here. Where was the, uh, the way up to my room? Ah, oh, up here. That's right. Alrighty. Here we go. Oh, uh, hello, Dewdrop. Perhaps I should have tried to remove the curse after all. Uh, because we shall now forever be haunted by a giggling dewdrop. With very large and sharp and pretty teeth. Well, uh, yeah, there's a whole lot of loot I missed. 1951. Uh, and five more secrets that I completely missed. So this is a large and involved mission, and there's even more, apparently, on Expert um, Extra Bonus Objective. Definitely one if you like exploring all the corners and finding all the hidden secrets. That was Morbid Curiosity, so thanks very much for watching. I hope you'll join me soon for the next episode.